légitimité locale, membres des forces armées et de sécurité, chers compatriotes et mes chers parents. C'est pour moi un honneur. Doubler, je ne sais de quoi. Il me manque de mots pour une fois, pour exprimer ce que je sens et ressens. Parce que lorsque je soulève la tête, je regarde chaque maison, chaque mire, chaque stade, chaque école me rappelle mon enfance. Amadou Tomani Tor, born 4th November 1948, was a Malian politician. He supervised Mali's first multi party elections as chairman of the transitional government 1991 to 1992 and later became the second dream democratically elected president of Mali 2002 to 2012. Tore was head of President Mosa Trawal's personal guard when a popular revolution overthrew the regime in March 1991. Colonel Tore then arrested the president and led the revolution onward. He presided over a year long military civilian transition process that produced a new constitution and multi party elections, then handed power to Mali's first democratically elected president, Alpha Omar Konare, on 6 June 1992. Konare promoted Tory to the rank of general. Ten years later, after retiring from the army, Torre entered politics as a civilian and won the 2002 presidential election with a broad coalition of support. He was easily re-elected in 2007 to a second and final term. On 22nd March 2012, shortly before his scheduled departure from office, disgruntled soldiers initiated a coup d'etat that forced him into hiding. As part of the agreement to restore constitutional order to Mali, Torre resigned from the presidency on 8th April and 11 days later he went into exile. Amadou Tomani Torre was born in Mopti, where he attended primary school between 1966 and 1969. He attended Babadala Bogu Standard Secondary School in Bamako in order to become a teacher. Eventually, he joined the army and attended the Kati Intermilitary College. As a member of the Parachute Corps, he rose quickly through the ranks and after numerous training courses in the Soviet Union and France, he became the commander of the parachute commandos in 1984. In March, In September 2001, he requested and was granted the retirement from the military entering politics as a candidate in the 2002 presidential elections. In the first round of voting, he placed first with 28.71% of the vote, while in the second round, he won 64.35% of the vote, defeating the Adema candidate, former cabinet minister Somala Sisi, who obtained 35.65%, Torre was sworn in on 8th June 2002. His presidency was atypical in part due to the fact that he was not a member of the, any political party and that he included members from all the country's political parties in his government. Following his 2002 election, he appointed Ahmed Mohamed Hamani as Prime Minister, but on 28th April 2004, Hamani was replaced by Osmane Isofi Maiger, who in turn was replaced on 28th September 2007 by Mobdibo Sidibe. Torre announced on 27th March 2007 that he would run for a second term in the April 2007 presidential elections. According to final results announced on 12th May, Torre won the election with 71.20% of the votes. 
the main opposition candidate National Assembly President Ibrahim Bubeika Keita won 19.15%, the Front for Democracy and the Republic, a coalition including Keita and three other candidates, rejected the official results. Foreign observers, however, endorsed the election as free and fair. Tore was sworn in for his second term as president on 8th June 2007 at a ceremony attended by seven other African presidents. Confirming to the constitution of Mali, which has a two-term presidential limit, Tole confirmed at a press conference on 12th June 2011 that he would not stand in the 2012 presidential elections. Early in 2012, elements of a Malian military protested the Tory government's handling on the 2012 insurgency in Northern Mali, the brutal massacre in a girl hook frontier with Niger of more than 80 Marian soldiers led to unrest in the army, with soldiers and army wives accusing President Tolley of mismanagement because of an ammunition shortages. On 21st March, soldiers at a barracks in Kati near Bamako launched a revolt against the visiting defense minister and their revolt turned into a coup d'etat. A group of sergeants and corporals seized several locations in Bamako, including the presidential palace, state television headquarters, and some military barracks. They then forced a provisional government authority, the National Committee for the Restoration of Democracy and State, under the leadership of Captain Amadou Sanogo, and declared that they had overthrown Tore, accusing his government of incompetence. President Tore was not taken into custody by the rebels. For more than two weeks, Tore's whereabouts were unknown and never indicated that he was in its custody. The CNRD RAE did, however, state that Tore was in good health, and a statement from the Nigerian government, though supportive of Tole, claimed that he had been detained by the mutineers. According to soldiers royal to Tore, however, he was safe and guarded by pro government military forces at a barracks somewhere outside of Bamako. On 3rd April, the junta announced that it was considering charges of treason and financial misconduct against Tory. On 8th April, Tory remarked to announce his resignation in accordance with an agreement brokered by the Economic Community of West African State ECOWAS to return Mali to constitutional rule, telling ECOWAS mediators more than anything, I do it out of the love I have for my country.